What's up guys, welcome back to Budget Controllerism. I'm Odyssey of Odyssey Eurobeat, and today I'm going to be presenting a sort of bare bones, eight button, four knob setup for Native Instruments' tractor. This will allow you to navigate a playlist, load tracks into two decks, and play, pause, and restart both decks, as well as control their volumes. Let's take a look at how this might look on your controller. In my case, I'm using an Akai MPK Mini, which has a few more knobs than I'll be using for our setup here, but you know, for the sake of simplicity, we'll keep it to eight buttons and four knobs. In this case, we're going to be using a play pause button, a load deck button, a restart track button, and a sync button. In this case, uh, because we don't have any knobs assigned to tempo controls, we're going to have to depend on sort of automatically syncing the tracks together, sort of like how uh, Ableton might. Uh, as you progress, I recommend that you become less dependent on sync. I mean, easier said than done, of course, but the more that you can sort of work with tempo manually, the better, and I think the more dynamic your performances will be. But for now, just to get you up and started, we have sync buttons, one per deck. Uh, arrange those whatever way fits for you. The way that I have it set up here is play pause, restart, load deck, sync, and then it's literally mirrored for, uh, for the other deck. Let's take a look at how the knobs are going to be laid out. Uh, in this case, we need some volume control, a crossfader, and a way to navigate our playlist, our sort of set of tracks. So in this case, I'll be using this knob for the left deck, this knob for the right, this one to navigate the playlist, and this one as a crossfader. If you don't have a built-in crossfader on your controller, any knob will usually do the trick. Just leave it in, like, the middle right there. Uh, if you have, like, a mod wheel, like a modulation wheel, just you can do the same thing for that. All right, let's see how that all maps out in Tractor. All right, so if you haven't already, feel free to open up Tractor, plug in your controller, Open the Preferences by clicking on this gear in the upper right-hand corner, and make your way to Controller Manager. We're going to start a new mapping here, so I'm going to delete this one, which was in progress, and start on over. To do your own mapping, you're going to want to go under Add Generic MIDI. And then under Import, just to the right, you want to select your device from the list. Now, if it doesn't show the name of your controller, it's probably either just going to be a generic USB name, or it will be whatever your device is plugged into, such as a another MIDI interface. In my case, I'm using an MPK Mini, and it recognizes that by name over USB, so I'm going to select that. All right, let's, uh, let's add some play and pause buttons. We're going to go under Add In. We're going to select Deck Common, and we're going to select Play Pause. Looks uh, nice and friendly there. So we're going to go under Mapping Details, Assignment. We're going to select Deck A. We're going to hit Learn. And then whatever button I hit while that Learn button is on, in orange, it will remember that one as the button I want to use to play or pause whatever is in Deck A. So I hit a button and boom, it recognizes it. Uh, the only problem is it defaults to hold, which means I would have to hold the button down for it to play. So I'm going to change that to toggle. That way, if I just tap the button once, it will play. Tap it again, it pauses. Fairly <laughs> straightforward. Uh, to do the same for deck B, we could go through all that again, but I like to do this. I'm going to hit duplicate, assignment, deck B, learn, and bam. And then turn it off again. And it remembers that it's a toggle kind of button. Um, one of our buttons for this setup uh, is a sort of restart track button, which is a little tricky to find because there's not a set location in any of these drop downs for, for that as far as I know. So we're going to go to Seek Position. And we're going to do much the same thing. Assignment, Deck A. We're going to Learn. And I'm going to hit a button. Boom. But it does something unusual. Instead of recognizing it as a button, it seems to jump straight to Fader Knob because this sort of thing is usually handled by a fader or a knob. But we can change that. We can go to button. Uh, direct is fine. Zero is fine. That'll just take the, uh, the position to zero. And that's more than fine. That's just a good way to restart it. And we can do the same thing for deck B. We can learn, and we can go boom. Much easier. Now, the uh, load deck buttons are not under deck common. So far, all of our... Uh, assignments have been in there. So what we're going to do instead is we are going to go under Browser, List, 
No, my apologies. Uh, it really is under deck common. <laughs> my mistake. It's under uh, load selected. Um, I'll show you how to navigate the playlist that these will load from momentarily. But for now, we're going to do much the same thing. We're going to do, do deck A. We're going to learn a button. And we're going to go boom. We're going to hit a button. And uh, interaction mode. Trigger. That's fine. Uh, duplicate it. Do the same thing for deck B. Learn it. Boom. And that's fine. As for our sync buttons, we're going to need to go under another deck common, sync on, and this is where we're going to have something a little not a little bit not uh, direct. This is another one that we want for toggle. We're going to once again deck A, learn, bam, button. We don't want hold. We want toggle, and. Uh, yeah, I believe that does it automatically. Duplicate, deck B, learn, bam, and that's all fine and dandy. Okay, so we have our buttons mapped. We have all eight buttons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let's map some knobs, which work slightly differently. Uh, we're going to need the volume controls for uh, both of our decks, deck A and deck B. So that is just under deck common again. Uh, learn to love this drop down, by the way. No, I was wrong. Uh, it's not under deck common. Rather, it's under mixer. Volume adjust. Wow. Boy, I really got off base there. We're going to go, once again, assignment, deck A, learn. And in much the same way you would just hit a button for it to learn, you can just literally, ever so gently, bump one of the knobs. In this case, it's fader knob direct. That's fine. Uh, going to save some time. Usually, you should turn that off and then back on whenever you duplicate, but I'm being quick and a little lazy. And uh, we're going to do the same thing for deck B, learn, and we have our volumes. Oops. So, hey, look at that. You know, it's a good one-to-one -one relationship, so you can leave interaction mode on direct. Let's add in a crossfader, which now is when we're dealing with something that isn't under deck common. Crossfader is under mixer, X fader, position. And the assignment is automatically global because it's not dealing with any specific deck. So we're going to go to learn, we're going to tweak the knob, and poof, you know, another one-to-one -one relationship, so that's fine. Uh, lastly, we're going to be dealing with navigating our playlist uh, using a knob. Now, that is under browser, list, select, up, down. Assignment is already global, and we're going to go to learn, and we'll tweak the knob, but something interesting happens here. The way that I have it, I'm turning the knob, and it's really kind of snapping too. It's really going super fast. I don't like that. Uh, in some cases, you might need to go under interaction mode and go to relative. And uh, you want rotary sensitivity? I'm dragging mine down to about 15 or 20. Let's see how that does. Now, obviously, some of these have to be adjusted to taste. Um, what One number that might work for me might not work for you. Um, in my case, I'm only working with about four demonstration tracks, so um, that's pretty much all I need for now. But that is our mapping all demonstrated and tied in. All right, uh, now that we have our setup, let's uh, demonstrate that it can actually get things rolling here. So let's load a track into deck one and a track into deck two. Um, obviously, there's going to be a little bit of prep that you'll want to do beforehand. Uh, see if your tracks are all set up. If you're using cue points, be sure to select those ahead of time. Why is it not showing the cue points? Whatever. All right, so let's start playing some tracks. Okay, and uh, while this barebone setup means that you're going to have to do a certain amount of uh, preparation beforehand to make sure all your tracks line up, you are now capable of controlling and performing in Tractor with just eight buttons and four knobs. All right, uh, feel free to let me know how this worked or if you found any alternative solutions that work just as well. All right, this is Odyssey of Odyssey Eurobeat, signing out. Mm -hmm.